Good morning, church. This morning, I'll be coming from Nehemiah, starting at chapter 2, beginning with verse 17. Then said I unto them, Ye see the distress that we are in, how Jerusalem lieth waste, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. Come, and let us build up the wall of Jerusalem, that we be no more a reproach. Then I told them of the hand of my God, which was good upon me, as also the king's words that he had spoken unto me. And they said, let us, ri let us rise up and build. So they strengthened their hands for this good work. May the Lord add a blessing to those who not merely hear, but also adhere to his holy word. Let us bow in prayer unto the God who is and will always be. Lord, we thank you for just bringing us to be grateful unto you. There are so many others that don't even know you in the pardon of their own sin. We want to thank you for just making a way for us, for being a strong tower unto us, our protection, keeping care. Lord, with the work that you have set us forth to do, we ask that we not hinder, that we not hold back any strength within us, but most importantly, that we not block the strength of your spirit, that we not hold back in living in the joy of you, Lord God. We just thank you for this word because it'll break forth in us. It will make of us everything we can't be on our own. We thank you, Lord Jesus, because you predestined this day. And everything you say, Lord God, everything you will, Lord God, will come to pass. It shall come to pass. There is no hindrance in you. We thank you for your promises, or yea and amen. And it's in Jesus' name that we do pray. And thank you, Lord God. Amen. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Come on, let's do it this morning. For he is good. Come on, let's exalt his name together. Come on, right where you are, right in your homes, right in your living rooms, right where you are. Come on, let's lift up God together. God, we thank you for a brand new day. Day that we have never seen. If you're grateful this morning, it's a brand new Sunday morning, and you know that God has woke you up this morning and started you on your way. Come on, lift up your voice and declare, Lord, you are good. And I thank you because your mercies, they endure forever and ever and ever. If you know that he is good and you know that he's real, let me hear you make some noise one time. Hallelujah. Let's do it today. Can we do an old school number right where you are? Come on, real big. Come on. Let me hear you clap your hands right at home. Oh, come on. Y'all do this with a song says this. Jesus is real safe. Come on. I hope y'all at home, come on, clap your hands with us and say, Jesus is real safe. Got a verse that says the words. Oh, sometimes when I'm feeling down, no one's around. Jesus comes along and he makes you strong. Let's declare this thing together. Come on, everybody sing and say, Jesus is real.
Come on, clap your hands one more time. One more verse that says, sometimes when I'm feeling low, got nowhere to go. Jesus comes along and he makes me strong. Oh, I know, I know. I know. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus is. Let's take this thing on home one more time and everybody say, Jesus is real, Jesus is real. Say that verse one more time. Hey, yeah. Sometimes when I'm feeling low, got nowhere to go. Jesus comes along and makes me strong. Oh, I know. Jesus is. Are y'all ready? Come on, let's talk like this one time. Say this. I feel them in my hands. I can't. I'm in my feet. Y'all say, I can feel the Lord Jesus all over me. I know, I know. Jesus is real. One more thing, I can feel him in my heart. Yeah. Feel him in my soul. Come on, everybody say real, real. say real. real, say real, real. yes he's real. Yes, he real, you say this, I know he is, I know come on, he is. I know he is, I know hey, he is. I know he is, know hey. he is. Hey. say yes he's real, yes, he everybody is. shout yeah. yeah.
Easter Sunday. These are your announcements. Bible study will be tomorrow on Facebook Live or YouTube Live. Please join us and invite a friend starting at 6 p.m. For all financial obligations, several ways that you can do, go about doing so, you can pay online, rcwc1.org. You can pay using the church app through text to give. You can also use our cash app, dollar sign RCWC1. You can also bring all financial obligations here to the church. These are your announcements. Please govern yourselves accordingly and have a blessed week. As we stay in that place of praise, come on, let's give God glory just one more time. Hallelujah. Come on, right in that place of praise, come on, give him glory just one more time. Hallelujah. For you are good. Just for a little while, we're going to love on our God just a little bit. Somebody type this on the screen. Say, Lord, you are awesome. Come on. Type it in on the screen. Come on. Share this. Come on. Tell somebody. Declare it. Lift your voice and say, Lord, you are awesome. Come on. If I can get a witness today, come on. Lift your voice and say, Lord, you are awesome. Hallelujah. Let's declare this thing together. Y'all going to help us. Clap your hands. Everybody, come on. Yeah. I'll say this. Lord, you are awesome. Yeah. Lord, you are awesome. Real simple. Lord, you are awesome. Yeah. Lord, you are awesome. This part says this. If it wasn't for your love, wasn't for your grace, I don't know where I'd be without you. Real simple. If it wasn't for your love, Running for your grace, I don't know where I'd be without you. Come on, lift your voice and say this. Say, Lord. Come on, help us declare that today. Shalom. Come on, move with us just a little bit. And say, If it wasn't for if your love, it wasn't for, for your grace, I don't know where I'd be without you. If it wasn't for your love, it wasn't for your grace, I don't know. Y'all ready? Let's do it. Come on. Say love. For your grace, I don't know. I just believe I'd be lost. So God, if it wasn't for, wasn't for your grace. If it wasn't for your love, 
Rising for your grace. Oh, oh, oh. that you made it this far by yourself. You may have thought, hey, I'm smart enough to make it on my own, but I come to tell you today that even, in, even when you didn't think that he was not there, God was still there. That's a reason alone to just give him glory. Even when you thought, hey, I don't have anybody looking out for me, God was there looking out for you. If you're grateful today, come on, give God great praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise you. Sing a song that says these words. I lift my hands in total adoration to you. You reign upon the throne. For you are God and God alone. Because of you, my cloud days are gone. I can sing to you this song. I just want to say that I love you more than anything. Can we do it together? Come on, y'all sing. 
Worship. Come on, lift your hands and say this. I live. I Catch your part one time and you just lift up these words. Uh, love me in your arms, hey. Love me in your arms. You were my shelter, were my shelter from the storm. the storm. When all my friends were gone. Come on, say this. Gone. But you were right, you, you were, were right, right there all alone. I've never known. We say this. Like this. Like this I just want to say, I just want to say that I love you more than anything. Oh yes. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. Can y'all help me say that? I love you, Jesus. Come on, say it. I worship. I worship now. Just want to tell you. Just want to tell you, Lord. Say this that I love you. I love you. I worship in the door. Hey. We say, I just want to tell you. Say, Lord, I love you. Can we do it? I've been through 
testimony this morning. But you've been through so much now that you can't afford not to praise God. Wherever you are right now, if you just lift up a praise, just slip your hands up in the air and begin to give God some praise. Begin to worship your God. When you think back on all the things that God has brought you through, when you begin to remember where he's brought you from, isn't it worth your praise? Isn't it worth your adoration just to give God praise? When you think of all of the doors he's opened, will you praise him? When you think of all of the storm, not only did he keep you in the storm, but he brought you through the storm. Will you give him praise this morning? For answering your prayer, will you give him praise this morning? He's worthy of our praise. Will you praise him this morning? No shame in your praise. No shame in your worship. Bless his holy name. Let us go to God in prayer. Father, we, we thank you this morning for watching over us all last night. And then early this morning allowing us to see this a new day. We thank you, Lord, that you kept us through the storm that came through, Lord. How you kept your hand of protection upon us. And God, we want to tell you thank you. But when we think about what could have been, and perhaps what should have been, Lord, we are grateful this morning. We're grateful this morning for your mercy and your grace. We ask, O oh Lord, that thou would forgive us of our sins. O oh God, we ask this morning if there be any stumbling blocks between you and me that you will remove it right now. We ask, oh God, if there are any distractions, Lord, that you would remove them right now. Oh God, we need your word this morning. We need a word from you, God. It's crazy down here. But you promised, Lord, that we can have peace in the midst of the storm. Will you send your peace? Will you send it down, Lord? And we'll give you glory for it. We'll give you praise for it. Keep your hands on us, Lord. Keep your hands on us, Lord. Keep us covered in your blood, Lord. And we'll be mindful to give you the glory. We'll be mindful to give you all the praise. This is our prayer this Sunday morning. In Jesus' name, we pray and ask. And the people of God said amen. Well, we are so honored and blessed to have you this morning. Whether you're coming in by Facebook or YouTube, please allow me this opportunity to tell you thank you. I don't ever want it to get to the place where we take you all for granted. With so many churches, so many ministries that are virtual, you can literally be anywhere right now. But for you to take a moment and to 
spend this time with us, we want to say thank you. We pray that you got your Bibles this morning, that, that you're ready to hear from God, and that you're praying that, that God will give you that word that you need for that situation that you're facing. We pray, oh God, that he would have his way this morning in you, through you, and for you. Certainly, I want to thank the praise team for doing such an awesome, awesome job this Sunday morning, as they always do. But I wanted to take this opportunity to just thank them for doing such a magnificent job in song. And I need to make one announcement, and then I will move on the third Sunday of this month, the third Sunday we will be having another drive through communion. Third Sunday in this month, from 11 to 12. From 11 to 12, a drive through communion on the third Sunday in this month, from 11 to 12. Please come. You don't have to be a member. You can come and share the body of Christ with us because we are one in the Lord, one in Christ. One body with many members. Praise the Lord. Well, let's get into our word for this morning. Amen. I want to talk for just a few moments with this thought in mind. The challenge of staying awake. The challenge of staying awake. I don't know about you, but have you ever found yourself so sleepy? I used to hear my mama say, I'm so sleepy, I don't know what to do. Have you ever been so sleepy? You couldn't hardly keep your eyes open. Your head was bobbing. Have you ever been there? Perhaps you were driving, sleeping. Praying that the Lord would help you to make it to your destination. You cut the radio up. You let the window down. You eating sunflower seeds. You drink and drink. The challenge of staying awake. Perhaps you were reading. And before you know it, you have fallen asleep. Maybe you were at work or at school. It was hard to stay awake. Perhaps even you were at church. Found yourself sleeping in the church. Lord, have mercy. Not only is it important for us to stay awake sometime in the natural, we thank God that he gives us an opportunity to get sleep. But I really want to look at this from a spiritual side this morning. And on the spiritual side, it's important that we never go to sleep. On the spiritual side, it's important that we stay keen, that we stay watchful, that we stay sober. Because the devil is looking for any opportunity to come in and devour us. In this time of pandemic, and with all of the churches I mentioned earlier that are having service virtually, it's important that you don't find yourself spiritually falling asleep. It's important that you stay moving in the spirit so that you don't fall asleep. Sleep was so important to Christ and to us. And I want to share just two scriptures with you. Of the many scriptures that are, are some, someone said almost 72 scriptures about sleep. This comes out of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 6. 
It says, so then let us not sleep as others do, but let us keep awake and be sober. Let's look at Romans 13, verse 11, and all of these are ESV. Besides this, you know the time, that the hour has come for you to wake from sleep. For salvation is nearer to us now than when we first believed. So it's important that on the spiritual side that we stay awake. If you don't mind, if you would go with me for our text for the morning to the book of Mark, chapter 14. Mark, chapter 14. And I want to begin reading around verse 32. And I think I'll read down through 42. Mark, chapter 14, beginning at verse 32. And they went to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples, sit here while I pray. And he took with him Peter, James, and John and began to be greatly distressed and troubled. And he said to them, my soul is very sorrowful even to death. Remain here and watch. And going a little further, he fell on the ground and prayed that if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. And he said, Abba, Father, all things are possible for you. Remove this cup from me, yet not what I will, but what you will. And he came and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, Simon, are you asleep? Could you not watch one hour? Watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And he again went away and prayed saying the same words or praying the same prayer. And again he came and found them for their eyes were very heavy. This is the second time. And they did not know what to answer him or what to say. And he went and came a third time and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? It is enough. The hour has come. The Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us be gone. Let us be going and see. My betrayal is at hand. Amen. Amen. The challenge of staying awake. Well, this takes place right after Judas has gone and met with the enemies of, of Christ and he's already sold them out. Now, even though he thought he was doing it without anyone knowing it, there's nothing that we can do that Christ don't know about. It doesn't matter if you do it early in the morning or late at night. Jesus knows. It doesn't matter if you do it in the front or behind. Jesus knows. Even the very thoughts of our heart, he knows. And Jesus was so distraught, so hurtful that Judas had betrayed him that he went to his father in prayer. You know, it's amazing that he didn't go and talk to Simon Peter, or he didn't talk to James or John or Thomas. He went straight to his father. Well, there's a message right there. When things have hurt you or destroyed, have brought you down in your spirit, maybe you need to go and talk to God about it. We live in an age now, and I'm not, I didn't come to talk about it, and I'm just going to move on, where everybody want to discuss their problems and their issues on Facebook. But let me share this with you today. If you really want to get your problem taken care of, if you really want to get your issue solved, 
you better have a little talk with Jesus. And so Jesus finds himself going and praying. But he left a commandment. And I told you on Monday night, a commandment becomes a demand. He told them, stay here and watch. The Greek word for watch is to be alert. He said, I need you to stay here. Now remember why was it important. Remember that they didn't know, but Judas had already betrayed him. They had already started out trying to find Jesus. And so he knew that they were on their way. So what he told them was, I need you to stay here and watch. I need you to stay here and watch. And as soon as he leaves, they fall asleep. Let me say something about that, if you will. We got to be careful. That in this time of separation, that we don't fall asleep spiritually. We got to be careful that even though we are having virtual church service, that you are still spending intimate time with Christ on your own. I remember, and I know you remember the story about Moses when they had started the exodus to the promised land. How when he had stopped and he was going to the mountain to get the Ten Commandments from Christ. You know the story about the burning bush. And when the leader had separated from the people of God and went up to hear from God, they started listening to other voices. They started listening to other folk. So much so until they start acting like other folk. They had started doing the same thing that the other folk were doing. Listen to me this morning, my brothers and my sisters, we got to be careful. Who we allow to come in our circle. The enemy had implanted some surrogates in the children of Israel. And they were walking with them and eating with them and even praying with them waiting on a chance to come in and desire their spiritual growth. We got to be careful because even today there's people that have been implanted by Satan in our circle that's hanging with us, that's walking with us, that's talking with us, but they're just waiting on an opportunity for you to fall asleep spiritually. You got to be careful that in this time of separation that you make sure that you're only listening to Christ. You're only listening to the word of God. Even if it comes through the pastor, you're making sure that it lines up with the word of God. We've got to be careful now more than ever. The Bible said again in Romans 13 verse 11 that the enemy is Satan going around seeking whom he may devour. The enemy hadn't given up on you. I know you've accepted Christ. I, I know you're singing in the choir. I know you, you're preaching. I know you're an usher. You're a greeter. You, you, I know you got a position in the church, but the devil has an impl implant that's walking behind you waiting on you to slip. Be careful that spiritually... You're not dozing off. Be careful. Because some of us do good when we're in the company of the saints. But I believe in my spirit that God is testing us to see how we do when we buy ourselves. I've shared with other folk, it's easy to be saved when you're around saved folk. It's easy to get your dance on when other folk are dancing. But the real test of salvation comes when you're by yourself. 
the real test of our love comes when we don't have the intimate relationship with our friends and we've got to go to God ourselves. While Moses was up, the devil started talking. The devil started telling the children of Israel, now, now I need you to notice something. God had already allowed them through the leadership of Moses to come out of Egypt. Watch this this morning. In other words, what are you saying, preacher? God had been real good to you. He's been blessing you. He's been blessing your house. You're better now than you've ever been. You've got to be careful that you don't allow now these surrogates to begin to speak to you. They told the children, say, Moses may not even come back. We need to come up with our own plan. He going up in the mountain. We don't know what he's doing. We don't know if he's going to come back. We need our own God. The story says they begin to melt their jewelry. And they begin to make themselves a God. Now folk that have been praying, now folk that have been fasting, now you can't tell them from the other folk. We got to be careful, you all, that we don't fall asleep spiritually. So he goes and he prays, he come back. The second time, they still sleep. He have a little talk with them. He said, can't you stay awake? Look at God now. How many times have God spoke to us and told us to get our houses in order? How many times have God told us to keep our eyes on him? How many times have he came and rescued you when you messed up? How many times have he answered your prayer when you said, Lord, if you get me out of this, I'll never do it again, only to do it again? He came back. They will sleep again. The Bible says even the third time he came back and they were sleep. The challenge again for us to figure out how do we stay awake? How do we not fall asleep? We got to make sure that in this season that we don't miss the promised land because we are asleep. The Bible says it's high time now. Let me share one more scripture with you. And I'm going to be hurrying here and get out of the way. The word of the Lord says this in Matthew 13, 25. But while his men were sleeping, his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. While we're asleep, the enemy comes in. And have his way. When he talks about sowing seeds, he's talking about sowing discourse. Coming in, starting, my mama say, starting some mess. Be careful while you sleep. Be careful when you find yourself not doing what you used to do. Be careful when you're not reading your word like you used to, you're falling asleep. Be careful when you're not praying like you used to, you're falling asleep. Be careful when you find yourself acting like your friends act, you're falling asleep. Matter of fact, if you look at somebody and tell them, wake up. My God, my God, we got to be careful. Matthew 25 and 5 said this, as the bridegroom was delayed, they all became drowsy and went to sleep. Listen, they were waiting on their blessing. But because the bridegroom didn't show up when they thought he was going to show up, they fell asleep. I know my time is up. You cannot afford to fall asleep. 
Let me tell you why. You're too close to your blessing. You're too close to receive what God has for you. You're about to walk into your destiny. And the enemy is frantic here. I don't know if you need to throw water on your face. I don't know what you need to do. But you can't afford to go to sleep. You can't afford now to miss what God has for you. What you've been praying for. The bride went to sleep before the bridegroom got there. The challenge is to stay awake. On Saturday morning, and I'm done, my mom would come in the hallway, and all she would say is, you woke? I don't know what I would say if I was asleep. But my response would be, yes, ma'am. I want to ask you as I go to my seat this morning. You woke? Or are you still asleep? Are you up? Are you moving about? Your blessing is closer than you think. Don't allow the Satan that's around you to keep you from getting what God has destined for you. If you're there, if you don't mind, please, ma'am, please, sir. If you just point your hand toward the screen, whether it's your phone, your iPad, your computer, your TV. We can't afford to slip now, my brothers and sisters. We can't afford to get this far just to go back. You've been through too much now. To allow the Satan to trick you now. While your hands are pointing. While you're pointing toward your screen now. Let's pray. Father in Jesus' name. Every hand that's pointing. Shake us, O oh Lord. If we're asleep, God, wake us up. If we're dozing off, Lord, energize us again. Remind us of what the prize is. Remind us of the danger in falling asleep. Just as falling asleep is dangerous when we drive, falling asleep in the spirit is more dangerous. God, if you would, touch every heart, every spirit that's watching, every spirit that's extending to you now, God. Renewing them, God, a right spirit. In the name of Jesus. Anoint them again, Lord. In your name, Lord. Give us just a little more, Lord, so that we can go further. And God, we trust you that you will protect us from the surrogates of Satan. Give us dull ears that we won't listen to them. Give us a spirit of discernment that we'll recognize the enemy no matter how he comes. It's our will and our desire that we finish this race. That we receive every blessing that you have for us. We pray, oh God, in Jesus' name.
Amen. Come on, put your hands together. The challenge of staying away. Amen. God bless you. The Lord's will will see you tomorrow night, and we'll be back next Sunday. Bishop, another round of applause for that awesome message. Amen. Amen. Well, we hope that you are now woke for this last song. We're just here to remind you that Jesus will. Amen. Stay woke. Come on, put your hands together. Decision from